welcome back. Now, every time I hear the name Darla, I think of the Little Rascals, but I don't think anyone would make a He-Man Woman Haters Club if they knew this little girl, Janine. <laughs> oh, Darla. Okay, I have to confess, she's one of my favorites because I've been fostering her myself for two weeks. She was found on the side of the road, and to have her be this loving and sweet and balanced between salty and sweet, she is like the, oh my gosh, I can't wait to get home every day just to hang out with her. And then she loves to lay in your lap like a baby on her back, and she massages your face, and she just purrs and loves you. If you want to have relationship with a cat she is your girl and then she's got her American Ninja Warrior kitty side that she flies from her cat tree to the furniture she plays with every single toy obviously she loves this anything that moves anything that's like a bird she's just super fun so she is gonna make someone a great addition to their family and kittens are easy to take care of they just need kitten food for up to a year and then dip their litter box out once a day. And those litter genies are awesome because it makes it a 10 second chore. And then, you know, if you actually spend at least 20 to 30 minutes playing with them yourself, they will bond with you even more. So kittens, they're, they're like the easiest pet to have. And they're just so loving and sweet and soft. And they just look you in the eye and they just like, mommy, I'm yours. And it's just, it melts your heart. You have to come check out this little girl. She's got the cutest markings and the cutest little eyes. Oh, I just love her. Oh my gosh, and I think everyone who's watching is also falling in love with her. <laughs> and, oh my, oh, she's acrobatic. I love it. And you saw this little speckled pup before the break, <laughs> and now it's time for Perry to introduce us. He was tricking us and thinking that he was tired, but I don't think he ever gets no. tired, Perry. No, he's got these little <laughs> bursts of energy you might see during the segment right here. This little guy right here is only four months old, and look at the size of him. He is going to be a big dude. He is called Dane for a reason. We think he's probably a great Dane mix. And he was abandoned at our South Mountain facility. That's where we got him at, which is a kind of a common occurrence for us. And like I said, he's pure puppy, so you better figure out about double this size. He is gorgeous, though. He's got these floppy ears, the black spots like a Dalmatian, and just look at the faces he's giving you right now. He is very cute. You know, with puppies, uh, Danae just had the great class on crate training. Training's all a part of it, and it's never more evident with puppies here. In addition to training, you've got to get them also taken care of medically. And we make that easy for you to do. We offer vaccines for puppies, and that should be every two to three months until the age of one. Our clinics are both our Sunny Slope and South Mountain facilities are open on Fridays for a walk-in. You will pay no office visits. Shots are $21. And we don't recommend you take these guys to doggy or to uh, doggy daycare or even um, dog parks of any kind until they're at least six months of age. And this guy is going to be one great guy at the dog park, though. You know, we offer free puppy training classes too, so take advantage of that. Check out our website azumain.org and come on down and get this beautiful Dane puppy. Yes, and our other dog later in the show is also excited to meet Duke. I think. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, Duke! Oh my gosh, Dane! Thank you, Fairy. <laughs> And I'm not sure if she smells as good as a rose, but she's definitely as beautiful as one Lisa. Look at how prim and proper she is. I know, I wanted to put her down, but this is just too cute. She is <laughs> as soft as a rose too. Not only does she have these dilute cal calico markings, but she just is hanging out here on my arm, her little butt in my hand. She's been this way about 10 minutes, playing all by herself here, very gentle. She's not very happy about this leash we have around her neck, just in case. But um, she was uh, rescued and luckily brought to us. One of our foster heroes stepped in and took her and her litter mate in. And they both had a URI, which is a kitty cold. And this girl had some abscesses on her foot. So luckily her foster hero gave her warm compresses, gave her antibiotics, and look, voila, made a perfect little kitten for someone. So if you're thinking of fostering, it's an easy thing to do. You can go to our website to find out how, but Rosebud and her sister are waiting for adopters. Thank you, Lisa. And Buddy has a pretty crazy backstory, maybe almost as crazy as him. This is the gentleman that you heard a little bit earlier. <laughs> Kelsey, this guy right here was um, brought into his, uh, actually his owner was arrested and he was in that house for five days without anybody knowing he was there. So the Arizona Humane Society along with the Phoenix Police Department we 
permission to go into the house and confiscate Buddy here. And so here he is now looking for a much better situation than when he came from. He is a gorgeous, gorgeous lab guy. He is very cute. You know, we um, are the guardians of animals in the valley, so when people like situations like this where they get arrested and they're brought to us, they may stay with us for quite a long time. And in many cases, we may not end up having custody of those animals because it will be a legal battle of some sort. But we take care of them nevertheless. We're there for them. And this guy, though, is now ours, and he's looking for a home. And who doesn't want a black lab in their life? Full of energy, five years old. He's mature but still has a lot of energy left in him. So if you're looking for a great lab to go hiking with and the weather's starting to cool down, Buddy's your man. Oh my gosh, who doesn't want a Buddy? Thank you, Perry. <laughs> and you also can't go wrong with any pet, but you especially can't go wrong with puppies. Hold tight and we'll introduce you to Willow and Sally after.